What's up guys, so today we're going over some new and kinda new Fallout 76 information to kind of update you since I haven't really done a Fallout 76 video in a while now. Fallout 76 and Red Dead Redemption 2 are probably the two games that I'm most hyped for, so I'm trying to keep you as updated as possible and I'm going to try to focus mostly on these two games for now. We've got quite a bit of news for Fallout 76 including supposed beta date leaks, trading, some map info, and some news about XP. So first off, if you didn't know already, the beta is supposed to be coming in October, so we're pretty close to it releasing. We know that it'll be in October because the game releases in November, and Bethesda said that the beta would be coming in early October. And since it's now the end of September, we're pretty close to the beta at this point. Now as for the actual beta date leaks, there has been a Reddit post saying that they talked to an Amazon rep because they weren't getting their beta code for their PS4, and all of the Amazon reps that this person was talking to kept mentioning October 8th. And since the Xbox One version is releasing before then, that means the beta would be coming before the 8th. I tried to find the post again, but I couldn't find it so I probably won't have a screenshot up on the screen of it. There's also been some news sources talking about this post, but they don't include any info or sources either or a link to the post or anything. This is just a rumor though, and it's most likely not true, especially since this post seems to have vanished. But if I find the post or anything showing the post, I will leave it down in the description. So if you're interested, look down in the description and I might have something there for you. But again, this is probably a lie or a rumor because there's been multiple lies and rumors and leaks of past games. Pretty much every game that comes out has some type of leak and 99% of the time it ends up being not true, but sometimes it does end up being true. The odds of that are just pretty slim. I probably wouldn't mention this since it's just a small reddit post, but a lot of different articles and videos have been talking about this specific post. But anyways, yeah, the beta should be here anywhere from October 1st to around October 10th if I had to guess. I mean it could be anywhere from October 1st to October 31st, we have no idea really. But I'm just taking a guess, hopefully we'll get it somewhere in the first week of October. I'm sure even before that we'll get some new info from Bethesda telling us when the beta will be. There's also supposed to be a lot more information releasing on the game, so when more information does release I will definitely have a video up on the channel for you guys. We also got some news just recently about the actual map. Fallout 76 tweeted out, How does Appalachia differ from the Commonwealth or Capital Wasteland? It starts with a guitar sword. And they posted a picture of the guitar sword. So yeah, it looks like Fallout 76's map, or world, will be called Appalachia. It's a pretty fitting name considering the game takes place in the Appalachian Mountains. And you can see the sword's stats which say level 15, the condition of the sword, it does 45 damage, medium speed, it has a weight of 3, and a value of 45 bottle caps. Somebody then asked if you'd be able to play it like a guitar, and Pete Hines said, you cannot, saying you can play it like other swords. And then he said, weapons are weapons, and musical instruments are musical instruments. I don't know, but it'd be pretty sweet if you could go into battle with this thing, and start playing it at the same time. Somebody also asked about trading, asking if we'd be able to set our own prices if we wanted to trade the guitar sword and Pete Hines said, you decide to charge whatever you want to charge for anything you trade or sell. He then said that you could even give it to someone for free. And I mean it sounds like trading is going to play a major role in Fallout 76 especially since when you kill another player you can't loot their items. Which I don't know how I feel about that, I, I want to know what you guys feel about that because I personally think that you should be able to get some items off of an enemy that you kill, it's kind of like the whole idea of video games, of killing in video games PvP, especially in this type of game, but that just means that trading is going to have an even bigger impact on this game, and maybe that's a good thing. They also talked a little bit about sleeping, since a lot of people have been wondering how sleeping works, since it gives you a big boost in past Fallout games and the ability to wait or skip time. A lot of people have also been asking if you'll still be visible if you log out of the game, and we found out that going to sleep will no longer allow you to wait or skip time, but sleeping will give you bonuses to your health and other bonuses. And when you log out you're completely gone out of the game. You will not be visible to anyone. So if you've played Rust where your body is always in the game, this is a bit different since when you log out, your body's completely gone. And I think this kind of goes into the fact that you can't loot gear off of enemies. Like this would be a big hindrance to the game if you were able to loot people because then people would be backing out all the time not trying to lose their loot. But since that's not a thing, this is kind of a good thing to have. Also a couple of days ago we got some new information regarding XP and how it will be distributed to players. They tweeted every team member who assists in killing an enemy successfully landing a blow or a shot gets XP. So if you damage the enemy whatsoever you get XP. The team member who lands the final blow gets slightly more XP. Somebody on Twitter wanted a little bit more clarification on this and they asked if 4 people kill a feral ghoul, does each person get their own loot individually or can one person decide that they're going to take all of the loot from the ghoul leaving the other 3 people empty 
empty-handed. And Pete Hines said corpses are looted individually so everyone could get something different. If you kill a number of feral ghouls, each player might get loot from different corpses. One person can't take everything so that everyone else gets nothing. That would suck. But I think that's all of the news we have for today. I was just trying to play a little catch-up on the past few days of news that we've had, or past few weeks actually, because I haven't had a Fallout 76 video up in a little while now. If you guys want to see more Fallout 76 videos, just let me know down in the comments. I might be streaming Fallout 76 when it releases or when the beta comes out, so if that's something you want to see, just let me know also down in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like, and hopefully I'll see some of you guys in future videos. See ya!